What's going on, everyone? Had to come back with a first taste review for this one. If you're wondering what it is, you know, it's kind of dark out here. But it is Santo, 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 however you want to pronounce it. Tequila. They're brand new in Yaho. It is out of Nam 1107. So I just got this bottle dropped off to me. I figured I'd do a live review. Fireside, of course. You can see I'm a little kindling over there. But live review Fireside before I tap into uh, the cigar and uh, kick back for a while. Can't get this damn thing off. Only if I could rip this off sooner. But no, this is uh, Sammy Hagar and Guy Fieri's. Uh, this is the Inyo of their tequila. Um, if you look back, I've, I've definitely, I've reviewed their, their Blanco, their Reposado, their mezquila, their uh, single barrel reposado. Uh, only one that I have not reviewed has been their um, high proof, their 110 proof, which they do have one. And you know, maybe I'll get my hands on that here soon. But um, yeah, I wanted to come on here first taste. It's been a long fucking day already on the nose, I mean, this bad boy smells delicious. Uh, definitely the barrel influence that you usually get from that Reposado. Uh, there's a strong, heavy barrel influence that this one has had. Um, but with that coloring though, I know it's, you know, darker, light or whatever, but the coloring looks like it, you know, definitely has more of that barrel influence. I know it's dark, maybe I'll take some pictures of it tomorrow i don't know but i wanted to come on here and film the live first taste oh man like that that black pepper that black pepper hits you through the nose uh fresh agave uh, get that that nice delicious spring water on the back end a little hint of sweetness a um, little bit of like a peri type of, like a green pear type of uh, flavor to it. Um, that's just first sip. Second sip, that fruit is coming out and there's so much, so much more. From like a tropical fruit to like that peachy, peri type of fruit. Uh, it's coming out that agave with the black pepper is definitely strong in this so it's definitely uh stayed on tune with the reposado that they have it's it's a heavy heavy black pepper uh to that reposado especially the single barrel uh i'm gonna be trying this with a uh you can't see it i don't know if you'd be able to see that or not i didn't want to put on the flash I'll probably do another recording of this once I start to do this pairing. But um, I have a Grand Habano, their Corojo, number five, I want to say. Their Corojo, number five. Uh, that I'm going to pair with this. But yeah, I mean, definitely a sipper. Hey, you didn't like the high, uh, if you didn't like the high black pepper, Put it on the rocks. Uh, it'll calm it down for you to bring out more of that fruitiness and the, the agave to it. Uh, it's not like a high vanilla at all. Like you get a, a slight bit of vanilla in there. But honestly, man, I'm gonna be sipping on this tonight. It's pretty damn good. Uh, so you can't see it, but I wanted to bring it out here in the setting that I'm drinking it in. But that Santo, Tequila, and Yeho, I'll bring it over here by the fire. 
maybe you guys can see a little bit better then. See Santo Añejo right there. The Nam 1107 right there for you. Definitely recommend you guys try this bottle out. See what you think. Cheers.